Hi, my name is Anna and I am a project designer for Michaels. And today we are making fantasy craft stick characters for the fourth week of Camp Creatology. So here are a couple of examples. And the cool thing about these guys is they're 100% customizable. You can make it any way that you want to. It's your monster. You can follow me or you can go rogue and make your own, show your creativity. And when you are done, we would love to see pictures um, so post them and hashtag them at, sorry, I'm going to get my little note here that says um, hashtag make it with Michaels, hashtag Michaels classes, hashtag Michaels kids club, all one. We love it all. So show us what you're doing. Um, so to make these guys, we need a this um, craft case by Creatology. It's really, really a, a great tool to have because it has all kinds of um, craft basics in there for all your projects, especially, sorry, the slides right here in my face, um, for all your um, projects with the Camp Creatology, and you'll have leftovers. So you'll be able to make more stuff, so it's really cool. Um, so you'll need one of these guys. Um, you will need paints, and this is the Creatology acrylic paint. Um, so make sure you have some kind of paper or paper plate or something on your desk to protect your surface, because this paint um, when you paint with paint, if you're like me, you will make a mess. I'm a messy painter. Um, you'll obviously need paintbrushes. I say obviously, I guess it's not very obvious, but paintbrushes. And um, I have a cup of water. And I have a paper plate so I can do some paint mixing. Um, what you'll find in this paint, and we'll talk about this later, but these are the colors that you um, get in this paint box. There's black, brown, blue, red, yellow, and white. But we are going to make other colors with those basic colors. As you can see here, I made green and pink. So we will play with those as well. So um, I'm ready to get started. Are you guys? Okay, let me take a minute to uh, adjust my lighting really quick and pull my hair back and we will get started. So if you have a paper plate or didn't have one ready, run and get one now. I'm just going to really quickly adjust my lighting so that I don't have all these shadows in here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna keep these uh, monsters kind of on the outside here. I'm gonna turn them so they're facing you. I'm gonna work upside down, so bear with me in a couple of cases here. Um, let me shift these over, there we go. So I'm just gonna leave these here so you can see these for inspiration if you are interested in doing something similar to what I did. This next one that I do is gonna be totally different, most likely than these guys. So as I mentioned, in the craft case, there's all kinds of supplies. So you can make all kinds, you know, different parts of your monster out of, you know, Chanel stems or pom-poms or glitter glue. I mean, there's so many things, so many options in here. Um, the other thing I would encourage you to grab if you have not already, just so you have it handy, paper plate, I mean, um, paper towels. If you're like me again, you're a messy painter. I'm a messy painter. Um, so there you go. I'm just opening up all my, my I opened my craft case now. I'm opening up my paint brushes. Um, so I am ready to get started and opening up my paint box so we can start working. I'm going to put my water close by. I'm going to keep it off camera because I, I don't think you really want to see the water there. Okay, so we are going to get started. The first thing you need is to pull out craft sticks, which is this package here. Um, in my case, they're all the way over to the right on the front little um, tray. And you're gonna need six of them. So go ahead and pull six of these guys out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll put that back. And I'm gonna lay them all out because we are going to paint, paint six. If you can see on here, there's only five. But I'm going to flip it over and show you we are going to kind of build the background structure uh, to hold all of these five together with the sixth popsicle stick or crab stick. But we'll get to that later. Just giving you a little bit of a you know heads, heads up, head start. So here are crab sticks. Um, and then I'm going to bring my paper plate. Actually, I'm going to move, I'm going to move these over a little bit. And so we can start with the mixing of the paint. Decide what color. Um, I'm going to move this up here. Um, decide what color paint you want your six popsicle sticks which is the you know the face or the skin if you will of your monster 
I know they're kind of moving out. I'm move, adjusting. I've got kind of a small space here. So, um, so I'm going to show you a couple of colors to mix to get other colors um, just to get started. So as I mentioned earlier, there's six colors in our um, box of paint. Now on the side, it does give you a guide here that says, you know, yellow and blue equal green and blue and red, uh, blue and red equal purple and those kinds of things. A lot of these you may already know. Um, and these were the colors I was going to, I am going to go through really quick because it's not always equal to equal amounts. So if you want a lighter pink, you want more white, less red. If you want a bright pink, you may want to you know, mix them a little bit more evenly. Um, with pink, a little tip would be start white and add red and then add red and then add red um, until you get the uh, color that you want. So let's start with pink. I'm just going to make a couple of colors really quick. And then I'll just, I may do an orange monster this time since, um, or purple, since I've done these other red or green and pink this time. But I just gave them, gave them a little quick shake. And uh, again, I have water nearby. So I'm, like I said, start with white. And I'm just gonna put some white on my paper plate here. And I'm gonna clean my brush and keep my paper for towels handy so I can dry the bristle. I know I have um, six brushes in this set, but I tend to kind of stick with one or two of them for whatever reason, I don't know. Just one of my quirks, one of the little silly things I do. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a, a decent amount of red. I'm gonna just put it over here because I'm gonna use it for a couple of color um, mixing, uh, co color, a couple of color combinations is a good way to say it. So I've got red on my brush here. I'm just gonna use that and I'm going to just kind of mix it around. You wanna mix it very well. You wanna make sure you have enough because trying to make it make another um, paint, paint color mix to match what you already did can be a little bit difficult um, if you aren't measuring everything exactly. So there is how I made that light pink. So remember, I started with a heavier, you know, mostly white, added red. And if you see, I'm gonna grab a little bit of red because I'm not gonna use this pink probably, I'm just showing you a color, which is also why I only did a little bit. You can see it's getting like a darker pink. So I did just a tab of more red, but I think pink is always best to start white and add red. And you can always add more red, you can't take out red. You can add more white to kind of mix the color again, but I would, you know, the more you kind of go back and forth, it kind of starts to dilute it and get kind of murky. So there's that. So there's that. That's how you do pink. Let me show you quickly. And now I'm just going to kind of breeze through this. I'm going to show you a purple and then we'll do an orange since, um, so this may be the color I'm going to do. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how my orange turns out and see if that inspires me to go that direction. I have no plan today on what monster I'm going to do. So we are going to just play with our supplies, which is really what the objective of this project is. One of the main, the big things is, is you get to show your creativity. Yes, we were kind of follow along and do a, do the same or similar base. Colors may vary, but um, overall, most of our monsters will look different. So again, don't forget to hashtag when you're done. Um, you want a hashtag uh, mainly, I mean, the, the big one is, Hashtag uh, Michael's Kids Club. That, well, that one's going to see a lot of uh, different reasons why we, we go and look at projects. But definitely hashtag Michael's Classes. Definitely hashtag my, Make It With Michael's. We will look for it. We will see them. We will be excited. So please make sure you are sharing your projects with us. Um, so I did blue here to make purple. Again, picked up a little bit of red. Remember, I had that red here for other things. Remember, I pulled out a little bit, a little bit more than I needed for the pink, because I knew I was going to also make red. So just remember when you're pulling yours out, you may, if you're gonna do pink, you may not need that much red. I'm gonna have a little bit that I'm not gonna use, but maybe I'll go purple with my monster. Now, if I wanted this, I'm like, oh, this is kind of darker than I wanted. I want more of a, like a little bit lighter. You can add, add a little bit of white if you want to. When you start mixing like a third color, it can get a little bit tricky. And notice I just went a little bit to the outside and that's way that's so I can kind of ease it in and decide if I want it, you know, for how much lighter I want to go. So there I kind of lighten it up a little bit. Which is a fun, which is fun. Okay, and finally we're going to go through orange really quickly and orange is 
red and yellow. If you remember our code on the side of our um, paint box. So it's nice that we have that little cheat sheet in case we forget later or want to remember exactly how we made that. I'm going to keep the white out just in case I need it. I always start lighter and add the darker. I don't know. That may be a rule in paint mixing. I don't know. I'm not an I'm not a fine artist. Um, but um, some of you guys may know better than that. And I, or I'm sorry, better than me is what I should have said. I apologize for that. Um, so I'm going to start with the yellow, add a little bit of red. Red's pretty powerful color. So I always try to go a little bit. Look at that. It's, it is so cute. I love the red, I love the orange. I'm gonna go orange on my monster case. I love this orange. I like bright colors. I'm a bright, I'm a hot pink girl. Okay, now, I don't have a whole lot here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so you want to line up your craft sticks, and we are gonna paint the sides and the front. If you want to go ahead and get started, while I make my orange real fast. If you want to wait for me, that is a okay. I'll just take a minute or two, um, and keep your brushes clean with water. It's this paint cleans these brushes just, I mean, it, it's simple to clean them. I'm just have a little cup of water here and I'm just swirling around and then I'm just drying it with paper towel. So it's pretty easy. Okay, now I'm gonna scoop a little bit of red. Okay, I have a lot of my paintbrush still. So I'm going to move this guy over here. So you can't really see him there. Let's see if I can get him. See if I can get both of them here on one side. If not, then I'll, I'll bring them back in view here in a minute. So no worries, I just need to make a little bit more room here. My space again is limited, I apologize for that. Um, my camera was only so high, so I can only pull out so far. Okay, so we have our six craft sticks. So, but what I found easier, and this is just me, so, and this paint dries fairly quick, quickly, so, so don't worry about, you know, we're not going to have enough time to finish, we will. So I'm just going to, I've just put two together just because I'm just getting the sides here. So that's a little trick, make this process go a little bit faster, and you don't need a real thick um, layer of paint because you just really want to lightly stain it uh, so it dries faster. Now I did paint the back of here because I did have a little bit more time, but we don't need to do that. We don't need to paint the back if we don't want to. If you have time later, you can always go back and do that. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of paint over my, I'm gonna go around the side that I was holding. Well, I still have a little bit of dry space here and then I'm just gonna, your craft stick may shift a little bit when you're painting it and that's okay. So I'm just gonna get the sides here. I'm, I'm not trying to cover everything with my hand. I'm sorry, I'm trying to watch that too, so. Okay, I'm just gonna go around here. And remember I said I have a messy painter. It will be all over my hands, so. But just a little bit of soap and water, get that off pretty easily. Um, this is not washable paint necessarily for clothes, so be careful. I'm not saying it won't come out. I just can't guarantee it will be 100%. So just, um, just be careful, but it will come off your hands. Soap and water is always a good thing. Okay, so I am, and also um, if you have baby wipes, those are like a crafting uh, must. So that's another nice little trip, trick, tip. Have baby wipes when you're crafting. Um, paper plates and baby wipes. Those are awesome tools of the trade. Okay, so now I'm just painting the edges again. And I guess you don't really have to paint the edges because inside are, they're glued and covered and not seen, but I just, just part of my, part of my uh, personality is wanna make sure I get it all painted. And even, I don't even mind the kind of um, streaky of the, cause you can see the wood grain a little bit of the popsicle stick or the craft stick. And, and I personally like that. Cause I, I, I think that the, um, Gives, the, gives our guy a little bit of character, a little bit of texture to his face, skin tone. So I am going to pick up a little bit more orange here. And see, this guy is already, I mean, the, the paint is already probably well on its way of being dry. 
So by the time we get done with the, the last group, the first group should be nice and dry. And then what we're gonna do next is going to um, give it a little bit more time to dry. And um, I say that it, it, yeah, I think I think it will. I think it'll give it a little bit more time to dry. When I made these guys, these my samples here, they um, they dried fairly quick, quickly. I was able to get them all done within a reasonable time frame. So I'm almost done here with my last one. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my brush with my water here. Get it nice and clean. And that's just kind of giving another few seconds to dry. Okay, paint brushes are clean. I'm gonna move those out of the way because we do not need paint brushes anymore or our paints anymore. So I'm gonna move those guys out of the way as well. So I can make room for my fun giant craft case closer to me. They won't be in the screen. Just again, I won't have as much room, but I will bring it as close as I can. Okay, so as I mentioned, the first one should be nice and dry. All right, I think I can get this guy back in here. There we go. Put him up. Yeah, I could probably put them up here. This may be because I'm not really working up in that area. There you go. There we go. Look at that. We learn as we go. Okay. So um, we are going to take, I'm just taking the first craft stick. And the only reason I'm taking, I chose the first one is probably because it's the most dry. Um, and I'm going to find kind of just eyeball and find the, the best kind of where I think the middle is. And then I'm going to break it. I'm going to snap it. You may need an adult to help you because it can be a little tough. Um, I struggled a little bit just now. So, um, so you're going to, you just break it in half. Okay. So if you remember, I'm going to flip these over so you can see. Oh, <laughs> I didn't paint that one. Um, you can see how I have these cut. So this will go, you know, across like this. Okay. So I'm going to put those down for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over because I think we're, we're, we're nice and dry for, you know, we're dry enough for what we need to do. And align five, the five painted ones upside down. So the top and bottoms are as even as you can get them or as even as you want. If you want your monster to have a little bit more kind of character, you can definitely offset. So maybe he has a chin, you know, whatever. Maybe we'll do that. That sounds fun. Let's do that. I'm gonna do that. You guys can keep them straight like I did here, or you can make it offset, kind of fun. Now I'm gonna grab paint. I'm sorry, not paint. I told you we're done with paint. We are done with paint, um, unless you wanna use it later in your details. I am not. Um, so I'm gonna grab the glue. So in this pack here of the um, glitter glue, there is a white tube, which is just glue. And it's really, really a, a, a pretty good glue. Um, so I'm just un, un, I'm screwing the top and then I am adding glue to one of my broken craft sticks here. And I am going to place it across all of my five craft sticks across the back. So I have it at an angle because I don't wanna see it on the front side. It's just a little bit longer than the five. If I did it straight across, then I'll see it on the front side. And I don't wanna see, I personally don't wanna see it on the front side. If you wanna see yours, you can absolutely do it evenly like this. That's just the reason why I have mine slanted, especially like I didn't want to see the broken side. And I'm going to do it with the other one. And you want a fair amount. I mean, I'm not covering it, but you want a fair amount of glue. Uh, and then I'm going to slant this guy like that. So if you, I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer so you can see what I did. So I had five craft sticks lying side by side. And then I attach them together on the back by the broken craft stick. If you can see, it goes across the whole thing so it can dry. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna leave it upside down while that glue is drying. So we can start kind of uh, start making our features that we want to do, uh, or at least planning and deciding of our features. If you, I mean, there's not, in some cases you can make and cut and do whatever you want. And in some cases they're already made for you within your craft case. So, and I'll talk about that in just a second, I'm gonna throw this thing away. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these up here so you can see a couple of ideas. I'm just gonna walk through a couple of ideas. I'm keeping my glue handy because we are gonna use it again. So I'm not gonna put that away yet. 
I'm going to just set it here. I'm going to move my water so I don't accidentally knock it over. And um, I am, you know, I have my, I have my guy drying here. So, uh, so let's talk about um, other items you can use for, to decorate your monster. There's so many things in this craft case. This, the, the, the options are limitless. Um, you have a package of wiggle eyes, you have um, pony beads, sequin, pom-poms, both plain and sparkly. You have gems, foam, uh, foam sheets. I'm sorry, I did not have mine all out. Foam sheets, I still, still in the packaging. Mine's still in the packaging too. I like to have mine all nice and still like it like new. Um, I don't know why, that's just kind of my, my thing. Uh, feathers, and you see I used feathers here on, on his um, little faux hawk is what we'll call it. You also have these shapes, which were great when I did this guy here. I just did the stars, uh, stars here. And then I took some of the rectangles and cut them in half and made his teeth and then made them kind of jagged. Then on this one, I did the sequin mouth. And um, in your box, you have Chanel stems, sparkles and all kinds. And I just twisted one up, made a nose. And it was actually what I cut off of back here. So I just used one Chanel stem to make his little wiggle eyes with additional eyeballs coming out. I mean, his little spiral eyeballs coming out. Then he's got his other ones with his like, questionable look on his eyebrow, kind of have his eyebrow lifted on this side. So I was having fun with it. I did different size eyes. Um, so just kind of take a minute to look and see what you want to do, how you want to um, build your character's face. Um, and that will help kill a little bit of time. So your paint, your glue is drying on your craft sticks. Um, and, and to be honest, you can go ahead and most likely flip it over. Um, it is still drying, but I mean, we're, we're still good. We're still, we can still work on the front side. So if you want to plan it out and, and see what you want to do. Um, I don't always start, you know, top to bottom or bottom to top. I usually just go, oh, I want to use this this time. So I think I'm going to use a gem for a nose. And your, your monster can have multiple noses. He doesn't have to have one nose. He can have, like this guy, he has the four eyes. You know, that's fun. Um, you can make glasses with Chanel stems. You can make, um, you know, hair come up with with feathers, or maybe maybe you want, you know, maybe I'll do some pom pom hair. Who knows? We'll see what we'll see what inspires me or the fun sparkle Chanel stems. You can break them up and cut them up and make them spiky hair. I may do that. That's kind of fun. Uh, but I'm gonna do something that kind of covers this uneven here because I have my chin here for my for my monster. So I'm gonna keep the, the gems out because I, I wanna put the nose on last um, in case I wanna do something different with the eyes or mouth. The nose in for my monster will be in the middle. I, I don't know why I just can't vary from that. And that's just again, my, my weird personality. And um, so we, what do I want it to do? What do I want to do? I think I'll actually do pom-poms for the background of the eyes. That sounds kind of fun, different. I'm going to, sorry, I was off the screen. I'll look at and see what I want to think. And that way they're kind of bulgy. Just kind of kind of different. And those different size. I like, I like to have mine different sizes. That's just kind of how I like to do mine. And I don't know why, but I do. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to, little trick here. I'm just going to kind of smush it. So I can get a, kind of a little bit flatter back. I mean, it's not going to be really flat, but it, it may give a little bit. This one was already smushed in there. So that's a nice little start. And then I'll, I'll shape them a little bit better once I get everything glued down. So I am going to go ahead and I'm a little bit more of a kamikaze crafter. If you want to plan all of yours before you glue it down, you go, please, you know, feel free. That is a okay. I am just a little bit of, I'm, I'm kind of an all in kind of person. So I'm just... I'm just going with it. And then, so there, there, and I'm actually going to put another little um, dot here because I'm going to add a wiggle eye to the top. All right, I'm going to do again different size wiggle eyes because I think that makes my, makes my monster interesting. I'll just pulled the eyes out so I can get a larger one. So I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing and it's not always working out. So I apologize for that. Just bear with me. I will always move my, my hands out of the way so you can ultimately see what I did. So I just glued those on there. So I'm gonna let those dry. 
Let's clean up my little eye pile here. And then we'll move on to something else. So I'm really excited to see what you guys are doing. So when I'm gonna look at the hashtags later, I'm hoping to see all kinds of creative ideas, whether you chose to follow what I'm doing or you're coming up with something on your own that's a little bit different. All of them are really, really cool to see. Um, and remember, you are inspiring others who go and look at, you know, look at projects with our hashtag. So that's exciting. So one of the things that we do in our job is inspire other people to make what we made or to learn from what we made to make something else. So that's it's a really cool perk, fun thing about my job. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Jim nose. So I wanna do something with his mouth. So you can, um, there's the sheets here of foam and they are, let me see, I, I don't know if there's, I don't know if there's, nope, they're not, they're not um, sticky back. So you can, you can draw on here, cut it out, um, whatever you wanna do and then glue it on, which is an idea. I think I am going to, what am I going to do? There's also these shapes. And like I did on this one, I just cut up a, a square, made rectangle teeth. There are rectangles in here and you can absolutely use those. Actually, I believe this one right here is an actual rectangle. These guys here were a, um, I'm sorry, a, a triangle. I know my shapes, I'm sorry, a triangle. And then the rectangle I cut apart to make smaller triangles. So, um, you know, we can do, we can do something all, all around different. However, whoever inspires you to make your monster. And I, I, I just had an idea spark in my mind, so I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to make his little cheeks stars. You know, when you have something like at the end of your, when you're making a smile and you have a little circle at the end of your smile or a little half moon, I am going to make stars for his little cheeks. And I think they will be green. I was gonna do purple, but I didn't immediately find a second purple. So I'm gonna go with green. And then I'm gonna use a circle. I'm gonna cut a circle for a mouth. Now, if you want to do ears, you can. I'm not gonna do ears, but you absolutely can do ears. You can do horns. You can cut horns out of some of these shapes or you can cut horns or, you know, you can even use a triangle that we already have here to make a horn. Maybe I will do a horn. That sounds fun. Do we wanna do one horn or in the middle? I don't know. I'm thinking one in the middle maybe, maybe the ticket, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave a, uh, no, nope, I don't have any smaller ones out. So I've already put some up, so I'm just gonna keep going with what I have here. So see, I kind of talked through, remember I told you in the beginning, I didn't have an exact plan on what I was doing. So that is one of the really fun things about these projects. And what's really fun about this craft case is you have so many options. So there are scissors in your craft case, which is also fun. Um, I'm gonna cut my circles in half. Not sure why yet. I think they're gonna be something with my with my fit in my mouth, but that was kind of my idea. Let's see how that's gonna pan out. Let's see. Well, oh, that's cute. And then his little cheeks. Uh, maybe I won't do the cheeks. The cheeks maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna do the cheeks. I think the cheeks are cute. So, um, but I'm gonna move his mouth down a little bit so that we have a little bit more room for a nose. So move that down. I think that's cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make his smile a little off, little offset. Since his eyes are different size, his whole body, his whole face is gonna be a little bit more Picasso'd, which is a painter who did very interesting abstract paintings in his time. And I am not an art teacher, so I do not know the actual timeline. So we will pretend I do and move on. So here's my horn I'm gonna put on because remember I thought, oh yeah, a horn's come. A horn is fun. Um, so there you go. And since I'm not gonna use these half circles that I cut, I'm gonna put them back in my bag because maybe I'll use them for something else later. And then finally, I'm going to do his hair. Um, again, your monster does not have to have hair. I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add some sparkle spikes because that just sounds fun to me. And, um, and it's going to be 
two colors. I'm going to go with a green sparkly pom pom and purple sparkly pom pom because why not? And, I mean, I'm saying pom pom, Chanel stems. I'm looking at the sparkly pom poms and saying the wrong thing. Okay. So, what I'm going to do to make this as easy as possible is I'm going to kind of make a little V and then cut. I'm going to open up the V and then I'm just going to cut all of these about the same length. And what I'm going to do, and the reason I'm doing this is I'm getting, I'm going to bend them half again. And what that's going to do is give me two pieces of hair for the gluing on of one. I'm going to cut this one a little bit shorter because we might do that one on the sides or something just so I can use all of my Chanel stem. And then I'm going to do the same thing here or sparkle stem. I'm going to do the same thing here. And, and it does not have to be exact. I'm just using these to measure. And I'm, just, I'm kind of flying through this really quick. Oh, sorry, monster. And I told you I was going to do these upside down. I totally did not. I apologize for that. And I just flipped them upside down so you can see what I'm doing. Just remembered that and it's already coming together. Okay, so I have all of my little hair pieces now. Now I'm going to turn mine over just because I'm going to work from the back so I can see it from the front, if that makes sense. He's going to be kind of crooked as I'm going to um, here. I'll, I'll do it so it's right side to you. Um, so I'm going to fold all of my Chanel stems in half. And again, they don't have to, oh, if I can keep them, they don't have to be perfect. And I'm just folding them in half. Remember this guy was my shorter one. So I'm gonna keep him kind of separate so I remember he's shorter. And these don't even have to be the same length. You know, it doesn't have to be folded exactly in half. Like I just did that one kind of different. And I may have too much hair here, we'll see how it's gonna pan out here. I'm gonna put my shorter guys up there. And what I'm doing is just making an interesting kind of hair idea. So you can do like here, I did, I twisted them together on the back and, and just separated them to make it, um, to make it easier to, to attach because it made this, this thing a little bit thicker, a little stem a little bit thicker. Um, I am going to, I'm probably just gonna do a couple of groups of two. And I just twisted the bottom together. And all that did was just give me a little bit bigger base to glue on. And you, I mean, this, that's not a necessary step. It's just, just something that I, I find that can be a little bit easier. Just a little tip there. Remember I said they're not all gonna be the same length and height. Maybe our monster needs a haircut and his hair has grown out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mix the, the colors because I just like it's like he has highlights because that's fun. Highlights are fun. All right. So there we go. I have all these little kind of groups of hair, and then since this is the top of my monster, I, I'm gonna show you here. And blow some of those little tinsels off of his eyeball. I can get that off later. Um, and I'm gonna flip it over here, and I'm gonna add a pretty healthy amount of glue because I want this, these Chanel stems to, the sparkly stems to really stick. And I probably went a little bit too much there, but I do not want to take chances with my monster's haircut. So I'm just going to, or should I say hairdo, not really a cut. I'm gonna attach them on here. I may have to hold it for a minute to really bond and then we'll, once it's dry we'll we can adjust the hair but that's something we may not have time to do on screen or on camera but you can just once it's dry you can move the stems around and I'm just going to keep I'm just adding all the hair here and I'm just going to hold it all at one time I'm let that I'm just going to hold it for just a few minutes I know my if you have some like tape handy, you may be able to tape it down until it dries, or if you can just set it aside. I'm just gonna hold it for a few minutes. I mean, and if you have um, a paper plate or wax paper, you can, or parchment paper, you can lay it on your parchment paper 
face down. So the, the papers, you know, so the monster's kind of holding, you know, on top, I say face down, right side up. So that way it's, you know, your, your, sorry, I have some wax paper right here. And what I'm going to, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm not explaining it very well. Okay. So that way the top of your monster is kind of just holding, holding that down. If you want to put your scissors on top of it or something, just so it can, you know, push it down into the glue so it can dry and see his little hair. It's cute. I like this hair. I think it's fun. And then finally, I am going to pop on a little nose. What color should I choose? I've used everything but yellow. So I'm going to go yellow because I want my guy to be as colorful as absolutely possible. So there you go. Some of my, when I cut the chenille stem, some of the little sparkles got off. So he looks like he's just been at a little glitter party, which is always fun. I love glitter parties. Or I should say, I would assume I would love a glitter party. Never actually been to a glitter party, but it sounds fun. Okay. So I'm going to put my gems back and let them dry. And once, once this um, glue dries on the back for the hair, then you're ready to adjust his, you can adjust his sparkle, uh, the sparkly hair any way you want to. I actually like the way it turned out. So I don't think I'm gonna have much adjusting. Sorry, it's gonna be a little loud for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna push that aside. So I'm not um, messing with that. So anyways, I'm just kind of, I was just pushing that in. So if I wanted to, once it dries completely, and I would wait about an hour or so uh, for it to dry completely, um, or maybe maybe a couple hours. Um, see, mine just, it will not, it will stay on once the glue is dry. I'm just moving it too fast. Um, so I'm just gonna pop that back on there in the back. Come on now. There we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna put these back on to just hold it in place. But yeah, the glue will hold. It's just, um, I didn't have time. And these are kind of, the sparkly, uh, the sparkly stuff takes a little bit longer. If you find that you are having a little bit of a hard time having, uh, if, you're, if you're using sparkle stems like I did and they tend to, you know, they're coming off and that glue's not staying really well, have an adult use a little bit of dab of hot glue on the back and, and um, they can, and they can um, add, uh, you know, pop your stem, your little, your little hair back on and give it just a little bit better hold. Um, but again, that's for an adult to do. So please make sure you have an adult help you with that. Um, uh, help you add the last piece if you feel like this glue may not be strong enough. But um, I have found that this glue is pretty strong. Um, I just did not give it enough time to dry. So there you go. All right. Well, here are a couple of monster ideas. I hope you enjoyed um, crafting. We'll I think we're going to flip back over to... There we go. Let me get all my stuff out of the way here. So I'm not, this light's not in my face. Thank you so much for crafting with in week four with me today. Um, for Cramp Creatology, there are a lot of videos out there. So go and look and see what other weeks are available to you, what other projects. You can use your craft case with all the projects, or I'm should, I should say, not all, most of the projects that we have available for Camp Creatology classes this summer. Thank you. Bye.